Hi folks, I want to bring you up to speed with something that's happening today, which is that I've developed mild symptoms of the coronavirus, that's to say a temperature and a, a persistent cough. And on the advice of the chief medical officer, I've taken a test that has come out positive. So I am working from home, I'm self-isolating, and that's entirely the right thing to do. Uh, but be in no doubt that I can continue, uh, thanks to the wizardry of modern technology, to communicate with all my top team to lead the national fight back against coronavirus. And I want to thank everybody who's involved. I want to thank, but of course, above all, our amazing NHS staff. It, it was very moving last night to join in that national clap uh, for the NHS. But it's not just the NHS, it's our police, our, our social care workers, uh, teachers, everybody who works in schools, the DWP staff, uh, an amazing national effort by the public services, but also by every member of the British public who's volunteering, incredible response. 600,000 people have volunteered to take part in a great national effort to protect people from the consequences of coronavirus. I want to thank you. I want to thank everybody who's working to keep our country going through this epidemic. And we will get through it. And the way we're going to get through it is, of course, by applying the measures that you'll have heard so much about. And the more effectively we all comply with those measures, the faster our country will come through this epidemic and the faster we'll, we'll bounce back. So thank you to everybody who's doing what I'm doing, working from home to stop the spread of the virus from household to household. That's the way we're going to win. We're going to beat it and we're going to beat it together. Stay at home, protect the NHS and save lives.